Hey guys, um, today I want to quickly go over, um, oops, I would like to quickly go over the metric conversions. So you have watched a couple of videos on this, but we will also practice, okay? So you always want to have a chart um, in the back of your mind and to be able to create it, to be able to do metric conversions. Um, and the saying that we're going to use is King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. Okay, so make sure if I'm writing, you're writing. And we're going to use this to create a chart to help us um, convert metric measurements. Okay. So I'm just going to make a little chart. You guys can do the same. And I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that one right here. There we are. Okay. And then I need one, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. All right, perfect. All right, so there's my chart. And now I'm going to put, okay, King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. Okay, so these are the measurements, the beginning the prefixes pretty much of the measurements like kilogram, centigram, milligram. That's what these are. And U start, stands for unit, like the base, liter, meter, and gram. So I'm going to put unit right here and we'll have liter, meter, and gram. Okay. And then this is going to be kilo. Hecto. Now, we don't use, we don't need to know this one as much. Deca. But we just need it there for our placeholder. Unit. Uh, centa. And milla. Okay. Now, this is what we can use now to help us jump. So, like, you know, when we are moving the decimal in a multiplication problem, um, this is sort of the same thing. So, when you're jumping, you're moving the decimal pretty much. But here we're using a chart. So, this is going to be like kilogram, kiloliter, kilometer, and kilogram. Um, and then the other ones we'll use a lot is centimeter. And then, oh man, I put that in the wrong spot. Right, don't put yours there. I messed up. Okay, I need some new white. So we go to centimeter, milliliter, millimeter, and milligram. Okay. So now we can hop around. Okay. So if you have six liters, okay, and you want to know how many that would be in milliliters, we're going to hop. Okay. We're going to put six and then we're going to put the decimal right here because after every whole number, there's a decimal to the right. But I'm going to, I'm at liter and I need to go to milliliter. So I'm going to put my finger right here at liter because that's where I'm at. And then I'm going to count how many hops I have. One, 
two, three. I have three hops. I'm moving that decimal three places. One, two, three. So I'm going to take this decimal and I'm going to move one, two, three. And every place I have a swoop, I'm going to add a zero. And so that means that six liters is 6,000 milliliters. Okay. If I have four meters and I want to know how many centimeters that is, I'm at meter and I need to go to centimeter. Okay. So I'm going to go one, two. I'm only hopping twice. So I'm going to take that decimal and I'm hopping this way twice. One, two. Make sure to add your decimal or mean your zeros. So this is 400. So there are four meters and 400 centimeters. Okay, let's do this. If I have 64 grams and I want to go to kilograms, 64 grams and I want to go to kilograms. 64 grams to kilograms. Okay, so I'm going to go one, two, three. So I am taking this gram and I'm going this way. I'm moving to the left. So I'm going to need to take this decimal that's right here and I'm going to move it one, two, three. One, two, three. Three spots to the left. And so this number would be 64 thousandths kilogram. Okay. All right, we'll practice again tomorrow, but I wanted to make sure you had this. And um, there's an activity you'll do, but then tomorrow we'll do some more of these, okay? All right, bye. Make sure you have this down in your notebook because you will need this chart.